Hi guys, what is going on? This is Jar Arts Fight and welcome to another tutorial. Now this is a pretty cool tutorial, we're going to be going over actually automatic flashing, um, so, so flashing on the beats of songs without having to go through and keyframe the opacity. Um, this is a really easy tutorial to do, um, it does require a bit of coding but as you say it's really easy. I'll tell you exactly what to type and so on. Um, so let's just hop into After Effects here. Um, I've got an example here so I'm just going to play this through for you um, so you can see what we're going to be making. So as you saw there, I choose a song with um, quite a lot of beats, but only um, a few big beats. So if you look at the waveform here, you can see there's a big beat here. So when I get to this beat, you can see that the um, it gets bright all of a sudden, and then it goes down again, and then bright, bright, because there's two beats there. So if we watch it one more time. So it's pretty cool. Now for a song with lots of beats, there will be a lot of um, flashing, obviously, but I chose this one because it's slow, it's um, easy to do, and it's quite understandable. So let's just go ahead and get started here. I'm going to make a new composition. Um, make this the right file size. 7, 1280 by 720, 59. I'm going to make it 10 seconds long. Um, then we're just going to drop in my clip here. There's the clip nothing special. Um, now I've got my song here, it's called uh, Nebulous by Bono Fat. Um, now I know it doesn't start for a while so I'm just going to have to find where the beats are, I'm just going to drag it along, here we go. So I'm thinking on the 1 minute 30 on the beat to flash, so like there. So remove the sound from the clip, so now we have this. <laughs> got everything but we don't have the um, uh, flashing so this is the easy part now well sorry not the easy part the hard part the easy parts over um, now to make to uh, do the brightness effect to make it brighter there's two things you can do you can either make a new adjustment layer or you can use the actual original clip so I'm going to show you with the adjustment layer quickly and then I'll, I'm actually going to use the clip method but this is the adjustment layer one um, so make a new adjustment layer um, command alt y or control alt y and I'm just going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Brightness, Contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness up a little bit and bring the contrast up a bit, a bit as well, sorry. Just a bit. Then I'm going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Find Exposure. And I'm just going to bring the exposure up a little bit, maybe to one, for the like if you want quite a lot of light. So now I've got this kind of bright effect, but as you can see, it's constantly on. Um, now, the another way you can, method you can do it, I'm just going to name this Flash AGL Adjustment Layer. Um, now, the second way to do it is by doing one little trick, which is where you duplicate the clip. So, I'm going to hold Command D to do that. Then, I'm going to change the transfer mode. If you don't see it, uh, you, and you've got these, click toggle switches slash modes or hit F4, and then this will come up. Change the mode of the duplicated layer to add. Now basically what add does, it will add all the colours together to make it brighter. So now I've got this. So now if you have a look, it creates pretty much the same effect. Except the add one is easier um, and it's quicker. So I'm going to use the add method to do this. And you can, if you want to make it even brighter, you can just duplicate the um, clip again to make it add onto that layer to make it even brighter. So I'm just going to call this flash. Okay, right, this is the fun bit now. So the first thing you want to do is right click on the song, go to Keyframe Assistant, Convert Audio to Keyframes. Simple. Um, now, if you hit do U, if you click, you should get this new null object with this red square. That's called Audio Amplitude. If you click U when holding that, you'll see yeah, you've got all these keyframes, hundreds of keyframes. There's a keyframe in every single frame. Now what you want to do is you want to click the left channel and hit the delete button, and the right channel hit the delete button. So you've just got both channels. Um, so now if we scroll through this, you can see that the number there, or up here, is actually changing as we scroll through it. So if you actually look, this is a bit quiet here, so it's all got kind of in the 40s and so on. And now as I get to the beat here, it's suddenly all oh, in 30 all of a sudden. And if we get to the big beat, you can see it's up in the 50s there. So now this is the, um, the only bit of coding that we really need to do. So if you know how to use expressions, then it's good. Um, if not, then it doesn't really matter, because it's pretty simple to do. You want to hold down the Alt key and press the stopwatch. So now it should 
the number should go red, uh, a text box should appear and the keyframe should all be selected. So just delete what is in the text box already and type in linear, then open bracket, value, comma. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. Now the second thing you need to do is decide when you want the actual 100% flash to happen. So at the moment it's at 50 here, 57. So I'm thinking the um, when the slider, when this slider value reaches 50, which is when the beat, the, the real beat happens, I want it to be at the, the highest opacity on the flash layer. So I'm just going to type in 50 there. So it knows that when it reaches 50, it can be 100% opacity. And then I'm going to put another comma. Now the second number that you want to put in is when you want the opacity to be zero. So I'm going to say 47 maybe, just because I know when I did this song before that it's roughly 47. You can then click the comma again, then type 100, and then zero. So basically what we have now, all oh, close brackets, sorry, now is saying that is saying that whenever the slider value here reaches 57, whatever this layer is linked to, it should be 100. And then whenever it reaches, whenever it get, gets back down to 47, it should be zero. So we just click off that now. Nothing happens. Um, now what you want to do is on the flash layer, hit the T button to bring up the opacity. Now same thing again. Hit Alt on the, and press the stopwatch, and you should get the same thing up. But don't do any typing. Um, under here, you should see a little spiral. You just want to click and drag, and then go land on the slider here like so and you should get loads of text appearing here then just click off it so if you look now it appears to be glitching for some reason I'm not entirely sure why oh hello I know why I've done it wrong you need to put zero in the first one and then a hundred in the second one uh, at the end so it should be your your two numbers then zero then one hundred it's my bad I got that wrong because I forgot how to do it Right, so if we watch this through now. You can actually see that it's flashing on the beat. Now this one here flashes really quickly because it's not actually at um, uh, 50 for very long. But as you can see, if we now scroll through this, you can see that the slide, the slide on the audio amplitude is now all zero. It's always zero. And then when, when we get to the high bit, the beat, you can see it goes up to 100. And the opacity is suddenly 100 next frame you see it goes back to zero now what I want to do is I want to change this to maybe f the first value so when we want it to be max to maybe 48 um, so hopefully that should now flash for a little bit longer um, which it doesn't so I'm going to lower it again again so I need to lower this to the second one now I'm going to make this maybe 44 and then I'm going to make this 46 so hopefully now it should flash a little bit longer but you pretty much need to play around with the numbers until you get it flashing how you want it so if we again, I play this through. So it is a pretty nice effect. If you're using this in an over edit, then it looks really nice because um, uh, there's obviously lots of flashing going on. It flashes to the beat of the song and so on. Now, if you're doing the adjustment layer method, it'll be exactly the same way. I'll make the adjustment layer again add in some brightness contrast, bring the brightness up, bring the contrast up, bring the brightness up even more, effect, color correction, exposure, bring the exposure up to maybe not that high, um, hide the flash, um, bring it down, then hit T, hold Alt, drag the thing to the slider, click off, or play it through. Works again, so yeah, this is a really nice effect, guys. I do use this quite a lot in edits, um, and it does create a nice effect. Like it really complements the eyes qu quite a bit. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, just quickly, be sure to go and check out my second channel, Joe W Films. There'll be a link in the description and an annotation in the bottom right-hand corner of this video. Um, it's basically a channel where I upload real-life videos and um, action scenes and cool stuff like that. Um, the first video should be going up soon in the next week or two. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm actually starting a web series, live action web series, which is going to be pretty exciting. So be sure to 
go subscribe to that channel to check that out which should be coming out soon and I shall see you guys in the next tutorial be sure to leave a like try and get to maybe 20 likes and I shall see you guys later